Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Erupt and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today's video is going to be my first ever Trials of the Nine Tips and Tricks video. Now, of course, the game modes are going to change each week. So this week, obviously, is going to be a countdown tutorial or Destiny Trials of the Nine guide. So if it ever does change map, then I'll let you know. But for now, I'm just going to be doing it for Eternity, which is the Trials of the Nine map on the countdown game mode. Of course, if there's a different game mode for survival, again, as I said, I will make another video for that. But for now, just enjoy this, sit back, and hopefully some of these tips help you for your trip to the top of the spire. Now, the first thing to mention about Trials of the Nine is there is no longer a passage that you need to pick up. It's already built in to your Crucible record, and you simply have to go to Crucible, look above it, and you should have Trials of the Nine. So once you go into this, you're going to notice that it only goes up to seven wins, and you have three opportunities to lose. But if you do lose twice and do get a cross on your card, then of course you're not going to the top of the spire. You have to get all seven wins in a row to get to the top of the spire with no losses apart from one, which is technically your mercy. So what you're going to have to do is get to three wins to get your first bit of gear, get to five, and then get to seven. Each time, each milestone, you'll go further up the spire, getting better loot as you go. And let me tell you, the loot is beautiful. I will be doing a best kind of weapon setup with the Trials weapons as soon as I can to get it out on this channel. And if you haven't already, guys, remember to leave a like, get us up to 50 likes, and subscribe to this channel. And hopefully, we get to 5k very soon. Okay. So the main tips, the first thing I want to get into are the weapons that are being used. So scout rifles are of course the biggest thing right now. Mida bloody dominating the Crucible. If you haven't got a Mida, you're going to be a bit behind everyone. But if you have got a scout rifle, make sure to put that on. That is really going to get you through this. Because you don't want close quarter encounters. The minute you're in a close quarter encounter, you're probably doing something wrong. And you're going to have a much lesser success rate in Trials of the Nine. See, Trials of the Nine at the minute is very campy and it's very withdrawn. Drawn. People playing very passive, so make sure you have a scout rifle, an auto rifle, and if you ever do get close, be sure to whip out that sidearm. I got the trial sidearm, and I'm not sure if any of that gameplay is going to be in this video, but I do eventually bring out a sidearm. Of course, I was using the Minor Mini tool just for the time being, but uh, submachine guns just don't really work out for this map. If the map does change though each week or each game mode, then of course you're going to have to try and figure that one out for yourself, but for now just don't use SMGs, just make sure you've got a long range weapon and also a short range weapon if you do end up in that sticky situation. So let's talk about power ammo before we actually get into the callouts or stuff like that. So the power ammo isn't really a focus, you just want to focus on sitting back a bit, making sure that you get that first one or two picks and then playing on that. Once you get those first one or two picks, you're going to have to advance or defend even stronger, that decision is going to be up to you and your team. But if you do know that you can get those final two kills, call it out before running in yourself, make sure your team are with you, team shotting is absolute key. You will demolish the Crucible if you team shot and your success rate in Trials of the Nine is going to absolutely hit the sky. So you're going to make sure that you never rush anything by yourself. That is one key component. Of course, I'm going to semi-contradict that statement in a future tip in this video, but just keep in mind what I'm trying to say and try and pay attention. So as I said, countdown is the game mode and there's going to be two bomb sites. Now, the two bomb sites are going to be called Keyhole and Temple. Temple's more of an outside area, whilst Keyhole is very, very confined. We're going to be going over Keyhole first, as that is one of the more frequent places from my experience. So make sure to secure the high ground either side has the opportunity to get the high ground in keyhole and in the high ground you can have a lot of pillars that you can take cover behind make sure though that you do have someone watching your angles in case you peek a bit too much out of one of those pillars and uh, end up getting shot from an angle that's incredibly hard to see the high ground is very 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 vital in winning rounds if you are going to keyhole defending or planting it's completely up to you but if you are planting, what I really recommend to do is send three up to the high ground, or even two. What are you going to do with that last person or those last two people? We'll see what I usually say is try and keep them going through the middle. Now what I don't mean is wrap completely around the map, because by that time, one of your teammates is probably going to die and it's going to be on your head. So make sure you use the middle cut in the middle of the Eternity map, and you will be able to get to the opposing sides flank very quickly once you've got that opposing size flank your team are going to be able to push in you're going to be able to push in and you're going to drop a lot of bodies if you are defending however and you eventually go to keyhole what i say is leave three people up at keyhole and send one last person over to temple to check if they're going to be planting temple instead 
and if they are, of course, teammates run over to temple. If they're not, that last person should probably run through middle cut and try and get some sort of flank. Of course, if he gets into any trouble, he can often just retreat back to where the defending team are on keyhole. Pretty simple tactics. Again, just don't challenge anything you don't need to. Now, if we're talking temple, if you are planting, send two through the middle cut, which is a very good way, as I said, to flank and send two to go hard right into the water. Now there's gonna be a little water section on temple. Make sure that you have at least two people with long range weapons go out there and slowly make their way around into the bomb site. Because if you do go out through there, you're gonna have a better time than just challenging the big archway on top of temple. Because if you are there, you're just a massive bullseye for people to shoot on the defending side and that's not really what anyone wants. So again, make sure you don't actually have to challenge anything that quickly. Just make sure that when a teammate gives a call out, you will play on that. If you know where one enemy is, or if you know how many enemies are distracted, you can give that call out to your teammates to push in, get a flank, and really mess the enemies up in your favor. Again, just team shotting is a very good way to drop the bodies quicker. And if you are defending the temple bomb site now, you're gonna be looking up to this archway. So of course, just send two or three people to temple. Don't push into the bomb site, just go around the edges and make sure that you get good angles into where the enemies could possibly enter the bomb site. Archway is where a lot of noobs will go and it's a very easy place to just pick up kills. So just kind of stay out of the bomb site, give a quick peek up to temple and make sure that you absolutely get ready to pulverize them with your long range weapon. Now what would that last person be doing out of the four man squad? Well, again, he's just gonna be watching the other bomb site or he's gonna come to middle cut if they do eventually challenge temple. So to break that down for you, if you're attacking, make sure your team splits into two pairs of two and one go through middle and one either take the high ground if you're going keyhole, but if you're going temple, then send the other two out to the water because once you get those angles, you're gonna be doing very well. However, if you're defending, always have a three man squad going to one bomb site while sending one man to the other bomb site to quickly, very quickly check if the enemies are planting there. If they are, send that three man squad over. If they're not, that one guy can push through cut, easy peasy kills, the team will succeed. Again though guys, communication. Never push anything by yourself, communicate where the enemies are, and if you do know where they are, then make sure as a team you're not making any rash decisions, you're going in with your long range weapons, preferably the MIDA, and you're gonna go and win you a lot of games. I got flawless within the first hour and 20 minutes, so I think we got there fairly quickly, even with one player that didn't even play the original Destiny Trials, so it's fairly easy if you adapt to the game as quick as we did. Our first game was a little rough, eventually we got into it very very well and we just won. No losses, we just went at it and won. Um, I will be doing carries on my YouTube and on my Twitch in live streams. Make sure you go follow my Twitch, the link is in the description and uh, turn notifications on and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to make sure you know when those trial streams are going live. Anyway guys, that's all for today. If you did enjoy today's video, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this on your social media for more Destiny tips, tricks, news, and updates in the community. My name's been Erupt, and have a great day. There isn't a portal here. Sniper. Good, the, pur the pink, purple thing, purple thing. Oh, oh, and the emblem. Oh. Yes, we literally Box got forward. fucking flawless. This isn't even a bull no. this isn't bullshit. We actually did that. Yo. Oh, my God. Yo. Yo. Oh, oh, oh. Look through it. This is sick. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is this? Yo, guys, look at the horse. Oh, wait, I just killed myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Rob, hey, Rob, yeah. just jump through it. Just jump through it. You get, like, sucked into it. Why is this yeah. is incredible. Don't this go is to the horse, you can't kill us. Yes, sir. Yeah. Turn around, erupt. Look up and turn around. Oh, get your dick out my face. No, okay. Take my dick in my. I can't around, see you because Josh is on me. Oh, hi. <laughs> Why are you in the ground? No, turn around. Oh my god, what the f This is Prometheus! <laughs> 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 DC Studios, if you're in the stream, to get trials, you have to do the uh, milestone. Wait, I'm gonna Yo, I'm uh, uploading that to Twitter. I already have, man. I'm one step ahead of you. Yeah. Oh, you can pick what you want. Um, fuck, give me the arms. Yeah, yeah. We've already arms. done it. Get... Whoa, what's this? I, I picked the you wrong thing. Worthy I could have picked a... Um...